We got a chance to meet Spurs guard uh, Danny Green. Okay. And Ralph actually made a special date to meet up with Danny, and let's watch. All right. Let's put it up. I'm Greg DSA associate producer and Spurs super fan Ralph Garcia. We're here at the Spurs practice facility, and we're going to find out how they get ready to dominate the competition. Okay, so what? So I, is that is that? Is I thought we were gonna go in and meet Danny. Bridget, there, uh, there was an incident. What happened? Incident? So you all dressed there's, up. Yeah, there's there's more video, but there was an incident. I had to explain what happened. Apparently, in the media room, there's a there's a dress code. I didn't know about this. I wasn't told this before. And that dress code does uh, does not include uh, super sexy shorts, short <laughs> shorts. So wait a minute, okay? Because you know we're in playoff time. Yeah, yeah, and the Spurs take this very seriously the as well. Are they serious. should because we're going for our fifth championship. So I kind of had to make some changes. They asked me to make some changes before I did the interview. To the dress. Code. Yes, to the dress, okay. to the super sexy short shorts. Uh, Dave, can we see what happened after? Okay, that? Uh -oh. I'm curious. Cause you had a bad day. You take it one down. You sing a sad song just to turn it around. You said you don't know. You tell me don't lie. You work at a smile and you go. You guys were 12 and 9 at the end of January, and then you went 38 and 7 after that. Talk about that turnaround this season. Um, I think at that point uh, is where Manu was, probably got hurt, and we we're still trying to find our rhythm, our chemistry. Tony and, and Timmy started to pick it up, you know, from the slack of Manu being hurt. Uh, and we started playing a little better, playing more as a team, and things just started rolling our way. You're being a little humble, man. <laughs> Manu got hurt, and you stepped up big. Talk a little bit about where the team's at right now. You guys, everybody on this team can be a player. You guys are so deep. Talk about the depth. Um, we're very deep. Like you said, everybody on this team can, can start, you know, other organizations, other teams. Uh, we are probably 10 to 12 deep. Um, we have a lot of good players. Uh, where we are right now, I, I think we're very, you know, comfortable with each other. We're on the same page. I think we are where we want to be. What do you listen to? What's your pregame ritual? What's, all, what's on that iPod, man? Uh, I listen to a lot of different stuff, you know, uh, mostly hip-hop and R&B. Uh, it got me to some Texas stuff out here, too. You know, I've seen, I heard a little bit of country and um, also some other different types of uh, Texas music. Yeah. You know what? Um, you don't have a nickname, man. No, I don't. You know, but we got some suggestions for you right some here. Suggestions? Yeah, you, you just let me know what you like and what you don't, <laughs> and I'm sure that these are going to stick. Um, green Energy. Hmm. I don't know. Danny Gang Green, because your game is sick. I, I like that one. That's not bad. Meta Green Piece. Uh, I'm not with the, uh, nah. Danny Danny Bang Bang? Nah, nah, I can't do that one. Daniel Von Greenstein. That one's pretty, uh. It's like Regal. Yeah, it, that sounds very, uh, like a smart person. Danny G, shoot for three. Uh, that's all right. Do not punch. Oh, wait, that's sorry. That's that's for all the fire oh, hydrants, oh, uh, fi okay. the fire extinguishers. Yeah, fire extinguishers. <laughs> We want people to come out and see you guys at the, in the playoffs. Talk about the atmosphere. Talk about San Antonio fans. Talk about how they love the Spurs. What do you feel when you're in that stadium? Oh, man, I can't. Uh, words can't describe how enthusiastic our fans are. You know, our fans, are they get after it. They're very loud, and they really, you know, they love their Spurs. And you can't really know what it's like unless you're on the Spurs team or play in the AT&T Center. But the, the fans have done a great job all year for us, and they're a big reason of why we won a lot of those games. You're a big reason we won a lot of those games. We appreciate you. Thank you for what you do. Good luck in your drive for our fifth championship. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Wow. So Ralph. Yes. So, so you, you had to, you had to go and change clothes. They, they asked me. They didn't want uh, me to be a distraction. And then when I realized, <laughs> how embarrassing! What, I didn't want to be a distraction you. either. Was, was, was there anybody in there That's at the bad. time? Oh, the, all the media, um, <laughs> and none of them were dressed like me, but now I know. And, and, and then so you come in dribbling? Now you know. Yeah, I came in dribbling. And you know what? Um, nobody seems to have a problem here when I dress like this. is how I so see myself. Girl, this is my normal you have on the attire. Show today? No one has a problem with this. What? Everyone has a problem with this? Okay, well, I stand corrected. Ralph, I, the, Ralph. I like those, Ralph. Thank if you. I were, if I were you, 
I will go put some pants on. I'm just Pro <laughs> probably should. I just that's just a suggestion for the morning. Standards and practices is not happy. Thank you, Bridget. Thank and you, Ralph. Nice talking to and Danny Green. I think the women like that. Yeah, but you know, you know, Bridget, it's you know those ESPN's life. in town. Yeah. TNT's in town. This is the playoffs. It's, it's this is serious. In there and Ralph and here comes, comes in Ralph dribbling with some John Stockton shorts on. <laughs>